In this podcast, we will show you the steps to be taken when installing plane bearings in combustion engines. The engine block used and the crankshaft have already been removed. Make sure that the bearing caps are marked before they are removed. Attention! Dirt particles can immediately destroy the new bearings, so extreme cleanliness must be ensured when working on the engine. Be very careful when handling cracked bearing caps. Soiling or damage at the points of fracture results in the bearing cap no longer fitting exactly on the bearing block. The visual inspection of the existing parts determines the further examination and reconditioning procedures. Suitable solvents and cleaning materials are to be used for cleaning tasks. With a used engine block, the bores must be checked before installation of the new bearing shells. In order to identify oval distortions, the diameter is to be measured at three different points. If all components are OK, the new bearing shells are installed. For this, the bearing line and journals of the crankshaft must be cleaned again with a lint-free microfiber cloth. Before installation, always compare the old with the new bearing shells. This is the only way you can be sure that you have selected the right bearing from the Kolbenschmidt catalog. In this example, the bearing shell can be compared using the bearing width, the oil groove and position of the oil bores and locking lugs. Note: Locking lugs serve only to facilitate positioning during mounting. They do not prevent the bearing shells from spinning during engine operation. Make sure that the right bearing shell is used at the right bearing position. When assigning the bearing shells, the position of the flanged bearing and the thrust washers in the main bearing center line is particularly important. The version of the individual bearing shells must also be considered. If there is a difference between the upper and lower bearing shells, this will be indicated in the catalog with arrows. In many engines, sputter bearings are inserted at the points with higher load. For example, with the connecting rod it is the upper bearing shell and with the main bearing it is the lower bearing shell that is sputtered. Sputter bearings from Kolbenschmidt are labeled with the word sputter on the back of the bearing. When inserting the bearing shell, ensure that the oil bores are exposed and clean. When all the main bearing shells have been inserted, the sliding surfaces are oiled. For this, use a silicone brush to avoid possible scratches from an oil can or bristles detaching from the brush. After oiling, the crankshaft is carefully inserted without tilting. A crane can be used as an aid for this. Next, the bearing caps are placed in position. Taking into account the markings on them. Then the bearing caps are tightened according to the manufacturer's instructions. Attention! Reuse of the expansion bolts depends on the manufacturer's instructions. It is usually possible to determine by measuring the bolt length whether or not it can be reused. After installation, check whether the crankshaft can rotate freely. And then measure whether the actual clearance is within the tolerance limits specified by the manufacturer. Further information and tips on this and other technical topics can be found at the web addresses shown.